Welcome back to Top 10 Traps, and today we have number 9 on number 8 in the same video. So at number 9 we have this symbol or detonator. This can be used to detonate anything you like, um, including TNT and pistons. Now, to start off with, you will need some iron ore. You also need a mine to place this in. To place your iron ore, you can use other iron ore around it to make it look more natural, but this also means that if someone mines the wrong iron ore, they will find the trap. You can use any ore you like, but iron is its cheap. It's, it's not expensive. Unlike diamond ore, for example. Now you will also need some redstone. And you will need a redstone torch. Or two. So, you get your redstone torches. And you place it on the back of the iron ore. And on the side of another brick, like the one there beside the redstone. See that ignites that redstone, ah, and then it makes the torch on the side of the other brick inactive. This is the basic wiring of it, and you can use it to detonate anything you want. The simple physics destroy the block, destroys the current, sets off the other torch. Now, on to number eight, which is the minecart in lava trap. Very, very simple, which is why it is better than the other one, and you only really need a few items. These are powered rails, normal rails for the bends, and mine carts, and also a lever. You may want to use torches to make it look more natural so they don't see it coming. You, you lure them into it, thinking it's a mine. You might want to place a sign saying diamond mine or iron mine or something. L um, lure them in. And they go in, if you have torches, it makes it look more natural so they don't get spooked and leave. You, your power rails make it go faster so they don't see it coming. Um, also, you need the normal rails to do the corners because you can't do power rail corners. So, yeah. Um, that was today's video. Please come back next week to see Tutorial Tuesday where we'll be doing 7 and 6. Please like, subscribe and comment.